click on the bell. Once the bell is clicked, you will get all notification. Thank you. Hello everyone, please welcome and join me in Subs Cooking. Today I'm going to share with you very tasty and delicious. Kids love it when it comes to pizza. So I'm going to make it very tasty and very delicious. English muffin, non-wet pizza and I'm going to use a turkey keema. How do I make it delicious? That I'm going to share with you. And without wasting any time, let's start with the ingredient. One thing I like to share with you that uh, we always have a problem with the kids. They become so choosy because they don't eat Indian food. They love fast food, burger, pizza, McDonald's. I mean, name it, all the junk food stuff out there. And this food is so nutritious, so healthy. The gajar keema, the turkey keema, you can present this one in a different way with English muffin and I'm going to make a pizza style and once this one going to incorporate it with English muffin oh boy the kids going to love it and they will ask for more I hope you're going to like it and you're going to try it and best of all once the kids going to start loving it they will be start eating at home the moms my wife my lady is a camera woman she's smiling then you won't be waiting out there where is my kid where is my son because they will always sitting on the table and ask her mom come on we're hungry we need food and that's the best i'm not joking or i'm not kidding this is a really serious thought because this is a big problem we have in our culture because we are all not our Indian culture all over across the board I'm talking about because the kids are more prone to the junk foods and that's what is the obese coming in place a lot of people are eating junk food so when they are going to eat healthy food nutritious food they're going to get healthy and you will enjoy a family time the best part in a life is a family time enjoying at the same table with your kids sitting next to you. Please try it. If you like to share comments or your views, please comment below and I'm going to see you soon with the new recipe. Thank you and please don't forget to watch English Muffin Turkey Pizza. This is our turkey keema and how do I make this keema? Please check my other video and this keema I'm going to use with our English muffin. We're going to use uh, shredded cheese, mozzarella and cheddar jack cheese. So this is going to be our topping, olives and tomatoes. We took the seed out, then we're going to use the jalapeno and the ketchup. The kids, they love ketchup. They are not fond of pizza sauce, so please try that. Other topping, this is strictly optional. Basil, oregano, parsley, rosemary, Italian seasoning. And these are the original English muffins. I have a muffins, English muffins cut into half. I'll place it on the tray and as I do it, I'm going to bring the ketchup on top of it and then we'll use uh, the turkey keema and it will be delicious. So I'm going to use uh, tomato ketchup, put a light coat on it you don't need to put too much then it will be like a more sweet so this is the last one we all done i'm going to bring keema that's a good amount of keema that will be perfect and now i'm going to finish up the same way This is the last one. If the kids are not uh, eating hot food, then you always can skip it. This is a jalapeno and this one is really hot. So we are done with the jalapeno. And the tomatoes are just a need uh, for the flavoring, you know, like a couple of uh, tomatoes like this, small pieces. And we always can add uh, onion too, if you like, uh, you know. We have everything in the keema, 
but uh, it's uh, again uh, strictly optional. If you don't like to add anything, the keema is sufficient. Just add cheese on it, mozzarella cheese or any other cheese and just put it into oven and that will be perfectly tasty. So this is the last one and we are done with this one and now I'm going to bring olives. Olives, when it comes, the kids love it. So this is the last one. So we are all done with the, our toppings. And now I'm going to bring mozzarella cheese. So I'm going to lay out a good layer of mozzarella cheese. Other six, I'm going to use cheddar jack cheese. Oh, it's looking so good. I have my oven preheated at 450 degree Fahrenheit. And I'm going to put my tray in there for only 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're going to take it out. Look at this. Wow. It's looking so good. It's looking superb. Delicious. I have a preheated oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It's on a bake. It's a 440. And my tray is ready to go in. And I'm going to use the middle rack. And we're going to cook it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it's gonna be hot and bubbly. And I'm going to turn the oven off at 450. It's exactly 450. Wow, it looks beautiful, really nice. I'm going to turn off the oven. You can let it sit for one or two more minutes until the temperature cools down. But there is no patience when you make such a delicious treats you want to take it out of the oven right away and serve it so i'm going to take it out right now wow look at this hot sizzling bubbling all the cheese melted and that cheese is really good wow it's looking so good i can't wait i'm going to take it out and this is the best wow look at this and I'm going to get one. Look at the cheesy, wow, it's so good. And now I'm going to use some Italian seasoning on top of it. Italian seasoning, you can use anything, whatever you like. I'm going to use that small amount and I'm going to taste it. Mouth watering, delicious, tasty. I mean, no words. Best of all, one word is out there. My channel name, Easy Steps. And that is Easy Steps. How you make it? In Easy Steps. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. Mmm. So good. And the cheddar jack. Just uh, coming out of the oven, it's warm, it's hot, it's not that chili is hot, mm. love it. Trust me as I mentioned earlier, please try this recipe, your kids going to love it and they are going to fond of this food so much because it's so nutritious, so good, it's fresh, made in your house and especially as always says grandma's recipe especially is made by your mom and they're going to love it they're going to stop eating the junk food and they're going to enjoy the food homemade food and this is one of the best and easiest to make as i already said easy steps without even spending more time on this video i'm going to say goodbye try it and i'm going to attack Thank you again. Mmm, good.